success at weight loss course. This is step five. In this video, you're gonna learn how to burn more fat on a daily basis without it requiring much effort, and you definitely don't have to exercise. So in the last video, we spoke, we spoke about eating to get you into that green zone, that green zone being your calorie deficit. In this video, we're talking about that black line. Now, if you remember from a couple of videos ago, that black line is your metabolism, and that's how much energy, calories you're burning on a day-to-day -day basis. Today, I'm gonna to tell you how you can raise that bar, making weight loss quicker, making weight loss easier, and making weight loss a lot more sustainable long term. Oh yeah! Now what I'm about to tell you is responsible for about 15% of the amount of energy you burn every day. And to put that into perspective, exercise for most people is only about 5%. So what I'm about to tell you burns three times as much fat than exercise. How yeah, how would you like to burn three times as much fat? I know I would. So what I'm gonna teach you is called NEAT. And NEAT stands for Non-Exercise Activity Thermogenesis. And that's just a fancy way of us sounding smart, right? But what it means is the amount of activity you do during the day that isn't properly structured exercise. So some things we're talking about is just walking, uh, playing with the kids, housework, taking the stairs instead of the elevator, standing instead of sitting, um, going for a walk at lunchtime. Anything you do that is physical, that isn't exercise, gardening, painting. There's so many different things I can name. And what you wanna do on a daily basis is you wanna do as much of that as you can as possible. You need to incorporate it into your life and I'm gonna give you some tips right now about how to do that. So let's go. All right, so the first tip, and I get all my clients to do this, is increase your steps. All right, if you're not walking at least 10,000 steps a day, which is the required minimum, and I can tell you what, most people are only about four or 5,000, so they're halfway there, then increase them. You don't have to jump straight into 10,000 steps. Start small. Go for an extra five to 10 minute walk per day. Walk an extra 1,000 steps per day if you're tracking your steps. Just start walking more. Now the second tip is about looking at your day, seeing what you're already doing that's active and improving it. So if you're walking to work from your park, park further away. If you have to go um, up floors instead of taking the elevator, take the stairs. If you're sitting all day, try to get a standing desk. If you can't get a standing desk, then take regular breaks because sitting for long periods actually destroys your body, causes aches, pains, weakens your core, and puts you in a bad posture, and later on in life, that's gonna really harm you. So you should be taking regular breaks Anyway, other things you can be doing is take the, do the, the dogs for a walk if you have dogs. Other things you could be doing is do you hang out with your kids at night? Well then do more physical stuff with them. Instead of sitting down and reading, which is important, lift them up, run around with them. Okay, look at things you're already doing in your life that are active and improve on them. If you're gardening, do a bit more gardening. If you're doing the housework, do a bit more housework. So that's the second tip, all right? So the first one is increase your steps. The second one is look at what you're already doing that's active and prove on it. The third one is start adding more activity to your life using things you have to do anyway, okay? So let's say you don't clean as much as what you would. Start cleaning more. If you're not doing the gardening, do a bit more gardening. If you're not spending as much time as your kids as you should be, spend more time with your kids. If you're not walking the dogs as much as you should be, walk your dogs, okay? There's probably heaps of things that you've been putting off, you've been procrastinating with, that need to be done around the house or with, or with friends um, that you should be doing. So it's a two thing, it's a two prong approach to this. You're gonna increase your needs, so you're gonna burn more fat. And second, you're gonna tick things off that you should be doing, which is gonna make you feel better mentally. It's also gonna make you feel more successful and then like you've accomplished something. So that's a really important one. And the last tip I'm gonna give you, right? Tip four of increasing your need, hang out with your friends more, okay? Hang out with your loved ones more. Do things physically together. Grab your partner, go for a walk down the beach. Catch up with your friends, go for a walk around the park. Or maybe there's a group activity you guys can do as friends 
like um, rock climbing or something like that. And if you're not into that, maybe something that isn't as active but still keeps you on your feet. Take your kids to Trampoline World. There's so many things you can do that's going to help you feel connected to the loved ones around you. So you're going to enjoy it and you're going to increase that connection you have with people, which once again is going to improve your life. And that's it, guys. That's it. Increase your need. Increase the amount of fat you're burning and try and choose activities that you'll enjoy, activities that make your life better. If you need any help, I'm here to help. Please comment below or contact me. My details are down there. And subscribe, man. Make sure you subscribe to these so you get heaps of free advice, support um, about how to lose weight, how to lose fat, feel better, feel good, keep it off forever. I'm talking too much. Let's go. You got this. Let's go. See you at the next video.